I'm Nightshade, and that's my mom. Hello, I'm Sophie, and that's my daughter. This is going to be a Halloween read for Gemini. We're going to pull an oracle card. Sophie's going to use the Halloween oracle because that's the Halloween oracle. She's going to use the Smithwaite. I'm going to use the Halloween tarot because it's cute. And that's the ones we have. And we have already invited Spirit into our home. So now we will invite her to our table mm -hmm. to help us with today's reads. Spirit, please join us at the table mm -hmm. to help us with our reads for today. Thank you, Spirit. Come on in, Spirit. All right, the Oracle card is Lady de la Mons. <laughs> de las Muertes. 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 Means Acceptance and <sighs> equality. Lady de los Muertos Ooh, means look at her. Lady of Death. Wow. All right. Lady of Acceptance Death. Acceptance and equality. That's the whole point is death comes for everyone. That's her depiction. She's depicted as a, a person in um, Mexican society that would yes. be considered um, beautiful, rich, famous, have every single thing, yet must accept the fact that in death we are all equal. All right, and on the bottom I have the two of wands. I have the lovers. Can y'all see that? Fun. All right, let's get to it, guys. All right, let's Here, I'll see. Take let's see what... Spirit has to offer Gemini's. Seek and ye shall find ten bats right off the bat. Off of the <laughs> ten of bats right off the bat. Right off the bat. Well. And then King. For a second I thought I read King of Chaos. King of Ghosts. So, I mean, but that does say chaos, doesn't it? When you have ten swords and a king of emotion. Huh. Um, Y'all are going to have to excuse me. Emotions I'm going to apologize for the up. first thing of the day, to, of the first video of the day, because I'm feeling every single one of these reads, like, a very deeply, on a very deep level, and I'm not really... Um, being able to articulate much besides my feelings. So we've got Emperor, so we've got Aries on the table. Ooh. All Emperor's right, so this is a reading in a, lot. in a lot. So maybe something happened in when the moon was in Aries. Because uh, we have one, two, three. We have a few. We have a good week or so before it goes into Aries. Uh, where we are. I'm sure it's even, maybe even more than that. I'm not sure. Um, Ten days, maybe. Something happened with the moon in Aries, maybe? Because like you said, it's been out for a lot of readings, so maybe something happened. He's making a show in a lot of readings. He's a real prominent. Like we went through that little thing where cancer was all over the place. Cancer, 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 cancer. It was in everybody's read. Now for the past couple days, it's uh, Aries, 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 Aries. Well, anyway, so we got um, Aries on the table strong because there's your emperor. Oh, shit. We got Cancer on the table strong because there's Moon. Or Pisces. You know, we do it both ways. Everybody does it both ways. Look at the Moon card. It's a werewolf. What? Gotta love it. So we got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius because we got the Ten Swords right there. And that would mean, ta-da, Gemini's on the table. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So we got strong Pisces here because we got um, the, the king. king. And then we got uh, the Aries. Aries is the emperor. So let's see. What else we got? Page of Ghosts. All right. So we got somebody who's uh, looking, waiting, deciphering. This could even be like um, uh, sorting, cups. sorting through that chaos. So, sorting through something that you caused. No, yours came down there. Oh, yeah. Go there ahead. you go. 
gone. sorting through that chaos because I got a little, a, little um, a taste of chaos when he came out. So trying to bring it all back in. Maybe you're the um, the Gemini. You're feeling it, chaos, backlash, or whatever, and you're waiting for that Aries to come in and help you. That Pisces to come in and give you a message because you've got um, yeah, you've got shit all over the place. Look at this. You got the tower and ace of cups. There's the tower. Look at that tower. Neat, huh? Kind of looks like the Adams Family House or something. Or the Mun uh, Munsters. You got ace of cups. You got a bunch of chaos on the table. Because under the king of chaos, there we got the tower. <clears throat> and I say king of chaos, y'all get what I mean, right? That was my little psychic thing that I saw, but ten of bats right next to it, because that's ten swords next to him, kind of looks like it. But you got a love influence coming in off that page of cups on the, on the end over there. But it's not clear. It's not clear at all. You got a, an agent again. <laughs> now John Wayne Gacy's in the picture. <laughs> so you got the fool. Can't be a bad thing, you know, the fool's always like letting go of stuff, not really caring so much about the future and everything, and that feels good, but, um, you know, let's ride this out and see where it goes, because Sophie's bringing in two of cups for love, and then I'm bringing in tower, mm. oh. love, fool. Let's see where this goes. So we got eight of wands. Well, you know, those messages that that page of cups is bringing in is coming in fast. That's good. And a nine of wands. And then look. The lovers. Great. That's what I had on the bottom of the deck. Remember? Before we started, when I flipped it over, I showed you guys. That's what I had on the bottom of my deck. Again, this is the second time it's fallen out. Right in a row. So, I got three wands. So, you can see in this depiction, the three of wands is like... Um, they're trying to have a meeting of the minds with this third guy over here. He's like the odd guy out, right? He's not joining in this meeting. Now, this is like at the time of the full moon. Look at the moon depiction here. So, we're, you know, are we falling under the moon's influence here with that? Are we trying to, um, because we got several full moons now. The moon card, that full moon, that full moon, that full moon, right in a row. Like it's coming at you. So. <clears throat> and now we got a king of bats. Which is your king of swords. Gosh, what are Brad we even looking at? Well. We have a lot of different influences for a lot of different people here is what it looks like. But, or a lot of different influences oh, for Gemini, Gemini yes. from a lot of different people. Because I see uh, the Aries, <coughs> the Fool, Excuse me. the King of Bats. At least those people right now are all coming in from the outside. Then you finally showed up in your own reading because here you are down the here lovers. the Lovers. So we know you were up here, you weren't feeling that love because you got 10 bats. And your emotions were out of control. Out of control. Trying to bring everything in control, but all it seems like all you're doing is like, push with the moon, you're just pushing it down. It's becoming something more wild and reckless. It just destroyed. That's what I was going to say. Uh... With the tower With the here. tower, because you just, with that howling at the moon card, you're trying to keep everything real stoic with this with this bat underneath that moon and that fool. But see, underneath the surface, you're this. You're John Wayne Gacy. You're a fucking serial killer. And, oh, God. I didn't mean that, like, literally. Y'all know what I mean. And it seems like you're only happy when you're... Like you got this mask on. And you're not just playing a fool, like just being like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Cause some deep disturbing chaos um, 
Well, has, yeah, something happened that just turned just, him up. Yeah, but I mean, it could her. be like a long standing, like a lot of, lot of, lot of cumulative, cumulative things. I think Gemini has been on his own too long. Or him because or her. he doesn't have, yeah, he, he, or uh, he, she, whoever is. They, it's, they're they, looking weird. They've they're had their weird. emotions bottled up so long. Yes. When they got loose, they just went into Absolutely chaos. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, yeah, they had, remember, because when I was pulling that King of Ghosts, I saw a King of Chaos. So that was just my little psychic flash there for a second. Um, and it is, uh, for some reason, it's making me think, you know what? Right now, you kind of feel like you're riding above it simply because you're doing that Ace of Cups with that Fool right there. And you're you're like, I, as long as I don't care, it can't get to me. This right here is telling you we're all equal. Um, No matter how above it you are, or rich, or beautiful, or famous, or whatever. This is, you're gonna this is the great the same equalizer. It's going to happen to you that's going to happen to everybody. Yep. This too shall pass. This too must die. This is something like deep seated, something, whatever happened to you, I have no clue. But really, what it's saying, this is bringing in this impersonal feeling with this lady of death. And it's saying, because it doesn't it's just really matter. Natural. It's, yeah. So it's not a standout. No, it doesn't really matter whatever it is that brought you to that king of chaos and ten of swords and whatever because it's no worse than what anybody else has had it's the great equalizer so now we have really strong cancer pisces aries well you want to run away gemini, from it gemini gemini mm -hmm. you want to run away from it now that's it. telling me you what you do want to run away from it you're having this tower moment under this king of chaos and it's involving everything that, like, y it looks like you had a really great um, lover, other half. I don't know if you were married, you would have never stooped so low. In your opinion, that would have been something you'd have said, I don't need anybody. What the hell are you talking about? You have no idea who I am. You actually went there with somebody who really loved you. And you loved this person, but you went... Well, bam! I mean, and you, um, it's like you did it on purpose. You did this. You're the king of chaos right here. Well, they you didn't did want to be tower. beholden to another No, person. exactly. You feel like love is makes you beholden to another person. Exactly. And so you took all that love and you bottled everything up and you're howling at the moon. And it just destroyed everything. And now it's another go round. Did you find somebody that you... Um, care about because now you got two pages here page of uh cups and page of wands do you find somebody that you care about we've been going back and forth with gemini and cancer like for months now well there's the page of wands underneath the <clears throat> nine of wands and now you've got the four of wands more wands and we got fuck look at that lovers that was oh. on the bottom of my deck i wish i could switch that around but next to that four it says oh you're wanting to aren't you you're wanting to bring somebody else oh three of ghosts look at that three of cups underneath that but are you going to do the same thing yeah that's what i was thinking you're going to do the same right now you're all in the celebration phase huh yes yeah but that won't last not nope. for gemini because it's almost like you're wielding this force it's it's not even like this force let me see if i can phrase this this means your great equalizer right now you she's not talking to you you're talking to her Gemini, you're telling her, I am the great equalizer. I am death. Ooh, shit. Ooh. You're telling her, I'm the one who decides. 
love it. I actually I love that. As creepy as it is, it means that you're in control, right? You realize that. But at what cost? You because it looks back. like you're you're just destroying everything around you. You're so cerebral and you're so chaotic on the inside and you're trying to ride above everything, but then when it comes crashing down with the tower, I mean, you're kind of reveling in this horrible chaos that you're, that you're creating. And okay, if that's your way of expressing and, yourself, I get it. You're, you're allowed to do that. You can blow through people left and right. You can. Um, you can be the great equalizer. You can actually embody this card yourself if you want to. But at, at what cost to you? Let's see. Because it looks like you've got another one in your grasp right here. Are you are you literally going to be okay if you destroy it completely? Are you going to be okay with that? Yeah. Ten of, <laughs> ten of pumpkins, which is like ten of pentacles. Well, that obviously is uh, how Gemini likes it. Yeah. And if you like it that way, you are, um, yeah, Knight of Ghosts, which is like Knight of Cups. You can see them coming in. I mean, or bringing, um, bringing like the offer. message offer. Yeah. So there yeah. he is underneath that this page. Is a, this mean, is a sad case, actually. Well... Like you said, no, it's not. If this is what Jim and I want, if that's how you want to live your life, it, you're absolutely allowed to. It's uh, and it, anybody that tells you otherwise, they can go screw themselves because you know, if it's something good or something that's socially acceptable, everyone's like, What? Oh, yeah, great, live your life as long as you live it the way we want you to. But if you look at the great artists and creators and whatever in the world, what have they always done? They've always blown through people because they need inspiration. They need somebody to feed them. They need that thing. So if that's what you do, that's what you do. Is that what you're doing? Oh, Ace shit. of Pentacles, yes. So, you know, but don't pretend either. Don't pretend like you're going to be this great um, husband, wife, material person. It's like... Go on, settle on down with me. Don't fucking pretend with people and tell them, oh, this is this is going to go perfect. We're going to be in love and everything's going to be like, yeah, see, And then look. squirm out of and it. And then squirm. So there's two cups in judgment. You can see this is two cups. How cute is that? Look at them. They're so happy. La, 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 la. And then you come down on them like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, two, look. Two of cups, that is Own it. Cute. If you're going to be who you are, just be you, who you, you are. You have to Shit. own the whole process, not just parts of it. And then remember, also, if someone does that to you, then it's the great equalizer. That's how it is, right? You know, sometimes that's that's what we do. We create things, and then we walk right into them. And you, you can't sidestep everything. Thing that Every comes single your way. thing, exactly. No, so just realize. Oh, that. that would be that cancer right there coming in and saying, "You see, next to that king of bats." Yeah, good. You would like to just sidestep every seat. You can't. I mean, eventually, this is the great equalizer, and it it is talking about physical death. But really, in a reading like this, what it's saying is, you can stand as like the judge here and say, "No, I'm the one that says what lives and dies," and that's in your world. That's exactly how it should be. And, but then again, she is that impersonal force that exactly as she's saying, it's going to come to you too. So if somebody does this to you, you know, you can't be all like, well, you're a fucking narcissist. Well, you're just like, you're crazy. There's something wrong with you. Remember, you've been doing it to Except people. Except the consequences for what you do. Yeah. That's all. If this is the way uh, Gemini, he, she wants to live... There's nothing wrong with that. We're free to live our own lives. Yeah. But be open. And it might open, make people smarter. <laughs> be open about it. Don't lie to people. Mm -hmm. And uh, be ready to accept the consequences because it will come back around. You'll fall in love. <clears throat> and uh, someone will leave you high and dry. And it's 
probably already happened several times and you're several like times, I would yes. rather do it this I would rather blow through them before they cast me aside maybe well yeah if, but you if, are presenting as an agent of chaos right here you're the king of chaos yeah you're just bringing chaos in in whatever relationships you're in so you're not only waiting for messages you're sending messages out yeah and people you're, are going oh god oh god oh yeah you're you're sending out messages of uh, uh, anything to get someone to come to you. Mm. My my, really putting you such chaos. You know what? This is funny because the last Gemini reading I think we did was a warning that Gemini was was getting out of their relationship or whatever, and they were on the prowl for someone new. Remember, it turned out like we were in the reading. It was like, okay, this is a Gemini we're reading about, but we're not reading for Gemini. It turned out to be whoever runs into Gemini at yeah, that's party right. run the other way and gives you their sad life story in the first five minutes, run the other way. Now we're getting to Gemini, the actual Gemini person here that's saying, fuck, this is how I live my life. And I don't really care if y'all like it or not. And this is me and this is what I'm going to do. Until I find something that makes me want to settle down, I'm going to blow through every single one of y'all because I just don't care. You are above it. But this is just your your card that says, yes, you can be. You can be the, um, you can be God in your own life. And that's exactly how it should be. No one needs to make any decisions in your life except you for what's true. good and bad about true, your life, true. period. But don't be surprised when the great equalizer comes and raises you to the ground. Also, just don't be surprised. You know, because I would say, you know, this, whatever happens, happens. But the fact that she showed up in the reading tells you that this is floating around. Okay? It's just kind of floating around this reading and it's going... See this shit? You can dish it out. You know, make sure you can take it too because it's, the nine it's of floating. Yeah, there you go. You're happy by yourself. You're just blowing yeah. through these people and doing all that. So you've got, fine. you have everything that you need. Yes. At the moment, you mm -hmm. have everything that you need. So and you look like you're enjoying it. So yeah, really. So don't let anybody tell you differently. Don't anybody let anyone tell you no. You can't live that way. You can uh, the issue nowadays is people want to tell us Ace and how to live yeah and like i said look at all the really interesting people in history they have had really intense lives that were lived to Who the knows? fullest you know jim and i may go on to be create something great and yeah that's lasting in the world who knows they may be our next beethoven rock star lifestyle and yeah yeah so take take it to heart this may be something that feeds you creatively too because you know when you get those interactions with people you never know what you're gonna get you know you don't and be careful because when you do play around with people you don't know what they're thinking either some people will take it and move on and be like oh asshole whatever whatever you know or I can't believe that girl did that to me. What a crazy bitch. But just remember, not everybody's going to walk away and go, Oh, I learned my lesson and this and that. Some people are going to go, Well, I'm just going to put this mask on and show up at that Halloween party and I'm going to have a weapon. Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't know. People are, you know, because... Live your life but accept the consequences. Accept the consequences, exactly. You know, that's, that's what I all. mean. This is a great equalizer. It means just be ready. When you... Do something, just remember, it's death comes for everybody. That means death of attitude, emotions, yeah. whatever, your money, your life, everything. It, everything is at, at one point going to die out and be reborn. So, yeah, you know, well, it could be that it's signifying whoever else in this read, too, that is like, you're the agent of chaos... But that's good because Remember, some people it's not need that. Just to you, yeah. I mean, the, An agent even of though chaos. you're thinking the world's evolving around you, it's evolving around everyone, and there could be other people out there just like you. Mm -hmm. And it, when you're the agent provocateur, you um, 
tend to draw people to you that, you know, obviously are going to be of the same mindset. Yeah. Whoa. There you making go. Making a lot of noise. <laughs> there you go. It just we started both. sizzling and doing so. So there you go. There's your little psychic and message. The and the things are falling all over the place on outside. On top of the garage out, out there. So what she just said, yeah. You tend to bring people into your sphere that are exactly like you. So yeah, don't be just, surprised. Don't be surprised. And just so the last one was honest. like a warning about Gemini to whoever. And now it's a warning to Gemini. Just be... Right. Be, um, be honest. <laughs> do what you want, but yeah, be tell honest. People. Just be and honest, ready yeah. to accept the consequences. Mm -hmm. That's all. So we hope that a Gemini sees this. Remember, uh, timing is fluid on these. It's whenever you see them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's when it's important for you. Take what you need. Discard the rest. And until our next read, may your moons always be full. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Bye bye. Bye.